So we have our heat problem given. Uh, 2100 joules of heat energy is added to 100 grams of an unknown substance. Its temperature rises from 15 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. What is the specific heat capacity of the substance? Now, uh, some students are going to look at this and they're going to know right off the bat that right there, specific heat capacity, so they know we're looking for C in our heat formula. Okay, so before we get too far ahead here, let's write down our formula, our heat formula. There it is there. Now, some students are going to know right off the bat we're looking for C because specific heat capacity is our constant, that's our substance, and that's our variable. Now, others may not, and that's fine. And that's one of the reasons that I suggest you lay out the question like so, you write down your variables, and then you go up here and you look and you say, okay, Q. Q is always measured in joules. Which one of these units up here is measured in joules? And you would find right here, 2100 joules. So you write that in there, and we know that our Q is equal to 2100 joules. Our mass is always measured in grams or kilograms with a conversion. And there's our mass, 100 grams. Um, next, we don't see anything happening here. But look, here is our temperatures in Celsius. And we have uh, 15 increasing to 40. So that represents a difference of 25 temperature final minus temperature initial, so we have 40 minus 15, and that gives us 25. Okay, so 25 degrees Celsius. So then we take these guys and we fill them into our formula, and here is what we have. Let's go back over here. There's where we're going to put our X. That's our unknown and set this up as given. So our mass, 100 grams. There is our unknown. And we have 25 degrees Celsius. 2100 joules is equal to 100 grams times 25 degrees Celsius is 2,500, nothing here to cancel. Grams, degrees Celsius, nothing there to cancel. So we just write our units as is. And of course, look, there is our unknown. So he goes right there. So now we're going to solve for x grams degrees Celsius. Same thing over here, 2,500 grams degrees Celsius. And this cancels our grams. Everything here cancels. There is our X. And when we look at our unit, we'll get the unit down here first. Joules, grams, degrees Celsius. And look, that's what we want because that's the way our specific heat capacity is expressed. That's the way the constants are given. And when we divide 2,500 into 2,100, we end up with zero decimal, zero decimal, eight, four joules over grams degrees Celsius. And I'm just looking at our original problem here. We have two significant digits here. We have four here. We have one, uh, one, two, I'm sorry there. I'm just looking ahead at something else here. And there's only one here, 40. There's no decimal there. It's not four uh, decimal zero times 10 to the one. It's just given as 40. So that means we have one here. So we have to give our answer using the proper number of significant figures, okay, and 
that would be we're at point eight. This is a four, and of course we're going to look to our eight, and that of course is, the four is less than five, so we would say our unknown substance using the proper number of significant digits is zero point eight joules or grams degrees Celsius. Okay, and that's our heat problem when we're solving for C. Thank you, and have a great day. Hope that helped.